Good afternoon, I'm Karen Larson, and here are the top stories in Green Country right now. More than a dozen families are in temporary housing after fire destroyed their apartments in South Tulsa. Right now, the fire marshal is still trying to determine what caused that fire. Multiple engine crews responded to the River Chase Apartments building yesterday afternoon. They spent all evening working to put out hot spots and help those families retrieve their valuables. Cargill Meat Solutions has recalled more than 132,000 pounds of ground beef products over concerns that it may be infected with E. coli. According to the Food and Safety Inspection Service, one person has died. 17 others have become sick in the outbreak since August 16th. If you bought any Cargill ground beef, you're urged to throw it away or return it to the store where it was purchased. Smithsonian Magazine's Museum Day is Saturday and nearly 1,500 U.S. museums are offering free admission. The tickets provide free admission for two people. You just download the tickets on smithsonianmag.com. Smaller are museums, historic homes and forts are all among the wide range of institutions offering the free day. Tulsa's Gilcrease Museum and the Will Rogers Memorial Museum in Claremore are both participating. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch tomorrow afternoon all the way through Sunday from Tulsa off towards the southeast. Three to six inches of rain possible over the next couple of days as fall weather arrives. So a chance for rain showers and thunderstorms late tomorrow morning, more so by tomorrow afternoon. So it looks like a wet evening commute on Friday and that rain will continue for Friday evening as well. And that chance does carry all the way over through the weekend. 72 overnight tonight with dry skies, partly cloudy conditions only into the upper 70s for your Friday for the weekend 70 on on Saturday, the first day of fall, warming up next week back to the 80s.